What would you say if I told you that these dried apple slices can help cut down greenhouse gas emissions? Sounds crazy, right? But it's true. How, you ask? When surplus fruits and vegetables begin rotting, they are dumped into landfills. And when they undergo anaerobic decomposition, breakdown of organic matter in the absence of oxygen, they release greenhouse gases like methane, carbon dioxide and nitrous oxides. Landfills like this are a major source of carbon dioxide and methane, both of which contribute to global warming. By cutting down on food waste, like turning leftovers into sources or drying food, people can help reduce methane emissions and protect the planet. According to the UNFCCC, food loss and food waste contribute 8 to 10 percent of annual global greenhouse gas emissions. From the farms, they transport the product to the market, and there's a deterioration in product, and there's methane that's lost. As, as we move down the value chain, you find that when it gets to the market and people don't buy them, when they've got bruises, uh, they are thrown into the landfills. From the market to the landfills is some more food miles, which also increases the carbon emission. But what if there were easy and cost-effective ways to prevent food loss while also cutting down these emissions? Food drying or preserving food by dehydrating it as a process dates back to the 12,000 BC, when many places now considered as Middle Eastern and Asian countries would preserve food by drying it under the sun. Though effective, the process was time-taking. Deep Plow Agricultural Cooperative Society or in Bulbeo, Zimbabwe is empowering people to prevent food waste by drying surplus vegetables and fruits to increase their shelf life with solar dryers. I think the best thing to avoid uh, the food waste, we have to dry them. The solar dryer dries fruits and vegetables. Uh, for instance, when we look at the apples, they, they dry them so that we keep them for future use. Uh, it helps us a lot to avoid food waste in Zimbabwe. The solar dryers, installed with small solar panels, harness the energy of the sun and expedite the process of drying. They increase the temperature inside the enclosed glass case and circulate the warm air with the help of fans, making the drying process faster, cleaner and easier than open sun drying. A wide range of fruits like apples, apricots, bananas, berries, and vegetables like carrots, peas, potatoes, chilies, mushrooms, tomatoes, etc. can easily be dried. Many herbs and various kinds of meat can be dried as well. Another way of minimizing food waste is value addition, like turning vegetables and fruits into purees, sauces, pickles and juices to increase their shelf life. Most of the tomatoes go to waste and what we're trying to teach uh, people at home, in small industries, in large industries, is for them to reduce that waste which comes from tomatoes and other vegetables. So one of the key areas is value addition of tomatoes which we are doing at the moment. This is effective in combating food loss and as a result preventing greenhouse gas emissions. Other countries where food loss due to lack of proper infrastructure and climatic conditions is high are also encouraging farmers and local vendors to invest in solar dryers and processors to minimize waste and maximize profits.